What's up guys? Today is Saturday, so that means it's Matco Michael Saturday. So let's take a look and see what he's got on that truck, because you know, he's always got the goodies. Let's go. And got the RC cars today. We have the RC cars. Uh, we've actually got um, two sold today. We've got three sold next week. So that's cool. We uh, got another one at the house. But have you played with one yet? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> uh, uh, I like the fact that they go on water. Oh yeah. Yeah out there way in the middle of the lake boy it can go dead and then there you are but yeah it, <laughs> even on the video it shows them going in the water and they float and they come back around and four-wheel drive cool so i mean they're by no means a Traxxas or anything like that but yeah. they don't cost nowhere near <laughs> yeah. near that either you know we had somebody ask the other day if it's fast no it's four-wheel drive it's not fast yeah. you know we're not doing 59 60 mile an hour <laughs> but uh we have We've sold a bunch of them. I have a lot of techs that like to play with them in their downtime, so yeah, they I tell me what all that. they can do with them and everything else. So. Y'all need to get one of them out for little man. He needs to play with that. Uh, he might rip the wheels off. Yeah, right now he's more into the let's take it apart stage. Um, it don't matter what it is. He's going to try to open anything that's closed and... If that's it good. comes apart, he's gonna take it apart. And if it don't come apart, you're just to find out if it can. <laughs> if it if it's capable of it. Yeah. He was yeah. playing one, with one of uh, his sister's toys the other night, and she had just got out. He's not gonna hurt it, and it wasn't two seconds, and he broke it. And it's like, uh oh. <laughs> well, he might hurt it. <laughs> I know our little boy. He was kind of like that. Yeah, we got him into those bigger Lego pieces, you know. It was like car. We bought the little car kit. Man. That was money well spent. That was hours and hours and hours of him. <laughs> like I'd have to put it together for him. He'd tear it apart, you know. Well, we ordered him a couple of things uh, that they had at the meeting for like Christmas time and stuff, like a ride on and what, some blocks or something. It was a couple of different things, but we'll see what he does with them. That's cool. Well. So you ain't got another big toolbox in I here. I don't have another toolbox right now. Um, they're coming. Uh, we're just waiting. Yeah. <clears throat> it's always a good thing when you're selling enough to be behind, right? That's true. How's the uh, tools for the call stuff going? I, I can't speak for a company, but as far as uh, all this, we're doing real good with it. So. What you done got back here traded in? Well, that was actually a repo. Um, don't don't like having to do repos, but right. it, not the first and won't be the last. So we're going to... What Joker's deep, ain't it? Yeah. Was that 30, 30 inches I'm deep? not even sure, to be honest with you. But uh, hmm. I sold a bunch of those carts when I first got started. Put them as a package deal put tools in them and sold them and right. i sold a bunch and those are really nice carts um we've still got probably four or five people that's got their original starter kit and that's you know they did just fine with it and kept going with it and like the size of that cart yeah some people don't like a big cart so i like them like it it, it all <laughs> depends on uh the size of the shop you know we've got yeah. some places that don't have room for a big toolbox and really don't have room for a big tool cart mm -hmm. and when it's like that that right there is perfect so plus it's mobile you yeah. can get around so i like the depth of it it seems yeah. like to me used to i was all about how wide it was you yeah. know and i didn't worry about the depth as much now man that deep is the yep. way to go. I'd yep. rather have a, a more narrow box and have it deeper as I had the other way around. Well, I agree. I would much rather have more room, but. Y'all are the only one, I think y'all are the only ones that does a 31 inch box, ain't you? That I know of. Um, I haven't studied the other competition just too much on as far as their size of boxes, but yeah, that I know of 31, it's uh, 
How but, how long is y'all's long like the triple bay? Box? Was it seventy eight that you looked? I think it was seventy eight or seventy nine somewhere in there. But you get the I'll let her pull it up, but that's a lot of square inches, you know, 79 mm -hmm. inches long and then Well, and it's all in, it's all in how you organize it as well. I mean, right. With anything, if if you just throw stuff in there, have no organization, you're not going to get the max mm -hmm. room. And I see that from time to time. So it looks like product depth, so we can go to 31 with a height of 48 and it looks like the product width is 86.56. Wow. That's a 6S triple bay 31 inch. So it's a, a good size box. Okay. I'll say you got something new. I got new to tools. I wasn't expecting this one to come in today, but that's just a plus. This one here, uh, you may have seen it on Facebook already. I know some of the distributors got them before I did, but um, for your hoods and your lift, ga uh, lift gates and stuff, mm -hmm. you know how the shocks go bad? Yep. Well, you ha we've had the style that you put over it and screw in, and mm -hmm. it holds it. Well, those are great. They've been great until for a long you time. Forget them. Until you forget them. And then you remember them yeah. after it bends the hood. Right. Well, these <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, these have come out now, and I like these better for a couple different reasons. It's a lot quicker in, in my mind because right. I know it's got an adjustment down here, but I have a feeling you're going to set that adjustment, and you're very rarely ever going right. to ever going to change it. And the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to clamp it on and you're mm -hmm. not sitting there screw it, trying to hold the hood up and screw it at the same time. Yeah. Or the famous let the hood rest on my shoulder while I get it close and then I'll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I like these for a couple of different reasons. And price points really well. I think they're like 28, 29 bucks. But yeah. um, some people's going to leave this on so they don't forget it. Some people's not. Yeah. But it is a lot easier to remember by scripts. Than you know, is. I bought that. <clears throat> it was a, like an expandable hood prop from yeah. you. Yep. Man, I love that thing, but I notice a lot of times it'll get in your way when you're working right under there. So what I do is I put that on, let it hold the hood up, and then once I finally bumped it two or three times, it got on my nerves. I'd walk and get the one that clamps <laughs> on. <laughs> so yeah, on well, it. and they're and they're good for two different uses. So some of the hoods, if you're working on the other stuff, still have the prop rod that's almost mm -hmm. always missing. It don't have shocks anyway, so you have to use the adjustable right. one. But like you said, the ones that's got the bad shocks and almost all of the cars that you work on usually do for whatever reason, but um, it just gets you in your way. You're trying to walk around the front of the vehicle and it's just in the way. If you have to be there, then it is what it is. Yep. But if you can put, and I've seen a lot of people use Vice scripts for it, and they've just, you know, who cares at that point because it's already messed up. It don't True. matter if it scars up the shock or not. But, you know, this just keeps you from scarring the shock up. But... We did have a customer where I worked at throw a fit because the the shocks got scarred up. Even though they were bad, they were mad that the shocks were scarred up. So <laughs> this will keep you out we'll of tell that. Them when they replace them with good ones, they won't be scarred That's up right. anymore. That's right. Well, and that and that takes you out, you know. And this this is aluminum, so it's not going to scar it up. It's non marring mm -hmm. um, so it's just a quick, easy way. I like how quick it's going to be. It's yeah. just going to be just one flick of the wrist. It's done. And you ain't got to worry about it. Well, what do those run for a pair of those? Uh, they run like 28 29 bucks. That's not bad. So somewhere around in there uh, is what I got them for. They, they vary, but, yeah, I mean, they. I think we looked yesterday. You can get the regular for, you know, around 20 bucks, the screw style. So for mm -hmm. eight, around 8 9 more dollars, and you've got these. And I like that. Yeah, I think a fella should go ahead and buy that and that rod yep. style. Cause well, you're going to need both. Uh, mm -hmm. You're gonna have some that have the the um, shocks, and just last Friday we went to a shop that the car was supposed to have had the shocks. They didn't have the shocks on there. They don't have a hood support. And they don't have shocks, so you got to use something. Yeah. Um, which the shop that I went to. Well, they took the shocks off. Yeah, they took did? the shocks off. I don't. That's, I, that's I, real considerate, ain't it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they. I don't know. I don't know what the intention was. <laughs> Some things you can't explain. That was one of them. We also got this in uh, by the looks of it, and they kept saying this was a new tool, and I didn't pay no attention to it. And I was like, "That's not new. We've had those. We have not. This is not a quarter-inch ratchet. This is your hex bit ratchet. So oh, yeah. 
it is it is new uh, but flip over around put your bit in there go to town so oh, I like this as well cool. um, I could have used this when I, I had to fix my backup camera I could have used this then because uh, there were some spots that they put screws that it was terrible <laughs> man it was so hard to get to something like this would have made it a lot easier because sometimes you can't get a regular bit driver true in there so if yep. you have it to where you can go basically anywhere i know they make the small bit drivers mm -hmm. uh, but even at that sometimes it's hitting that where if you could just you know come up and do it like that it would be perfect so i'm gonna tell you the best kit that i've seen so far with bit drivers is the one my very first purchase that i got you to order from me yeah was that <clears throat> little bit set where they push up yep and that thing Dude, if it was 150 bucks, I don't even know what it was. I don't think it was that bad, but you know, if it was 150 dollars just for that little bit carrier, it'd be worth it. Yeah, the test purchase. I don't think you even stocked them either. That's uh, like I've the had, best. That's one of the best tools, Matt. I've had a couple of different um, bit sets that I've stocked um, from time to time, but what ends up happening is I sell it, forget to reorder it, yeah. and then I don't remember it until somebody goes, "Hey, have you got that?" That just mm -hmm. That happens from time to time. And see, I don't even have the part number on it. I've had a bunch of people ask me, man, what is the part number? And I hear you keep talking about that bit set, that bit set, that bit set. But I don't, uh, you know, it's not stamped on there, so I have no clue. I remember you had a hard time finding it the first time. Yeah, because I ordered the wrong one the first time. Let's see. But, man, those things are worth their weight in gold. Looks like S, let's see here. I can't read. S bit. 11 is what it looks like. S bit 11. Let's see. Let me pull that up just to make sure. Because I remember ordering one and it was the wrong one. The part number on these pliers okay. is going to be LS LP. So if you're interested in those, you're going to be LS LP. Okay. And then the part number on this thing, I don't know if you can zoom in on that or. It looks like ABR 6ST. So let's see if it gives. I don't think it shows the carrier. That's what. Ah, so I was going to see if it if I could get it to show. It does not show the carrier. Well, that's just. That's the coolest part of that whole thing. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, that um. Uh, that thing is worth its money. Everybody thinks you don't know how to talk. I just don't like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a video person. Now, if we're in a different shop, I'll talk yeah. to Euro. Uh, she, she's she's getting used to it. She's doing more and more interaction with customers and stuff, so we're getting there. <laughs> Everybody's like, does she talk? Does she know how to talk? I'm like, yeah, she can talk. <laughs> The video started y'all too, and then yeah. Bill and then Wally, and now it's just you know, yeah. and I'm just I'm just here to the side. Well, don't nobody want you to be the new Wally. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Michael will be like, I can't find nothing on this truck anymore. Everything's in the floor. <laughs> well, he can't because I, whenever we get up in the morning, I'll stop most of the time, you know, so he can get ready because I get up at five. Well, I'll get in here and then I'll put stuff where I think it should go. Well, then he starts looking for it. He can't find it. So. Yeah, there's a uh, there's an advantage to have somebody helping you stock, and there's a disadvantage because <laughs> we both see it going in different. See, places. I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuss if I couldn't oh, find I it. I'd be like, let me just keep looking at it. It's here. Just yeah. Oh, I don't. I'm like, hey, you it. remember this? Yeah, I put it on. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you put it there? That's just, okay. That's, that's where it. I thought it needed to go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That, hey, that's fine with me. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna order one of those S bit. That way we can show the case and stuff. Yeah, that thing is really, really um, cool. But like I said, it, it computer systems are great, but sometimes I forget to order stuff. So it, it is what it is. But um, both of the new tools I like. Also, everybody has been asking me about catalogs and stuff. We actually just got word that we are releasing another catalog. So um, cool. I got to look at it last night. I like it. The layout's pretty. Is good. it going to be where the customers can get it, where customer copies, or so? Um, I'm going to hand mine out. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but I don't know if the other dealers, how they're going to do theirs. Right. Um, I'm going to hand my copies out to uh, the shops that basically buy the most for me. I mean, I know typically you, you try to sell to the ones that don't buy a whole lot, but I'm trying to put them to where the customers that buy a lot that are constantly looking for stuff, they have mm -hmm. that catalog. So when a Maco distributor first gets started, we go around and hand out catalogs and, and week zero or something like that, they call it. And that's what you do, you hand out the catalog. So I'm basically gonna do the same. I'm gonna uh, go out and hand them out and try to get good exposure. And um, and if, if it comes to where a customer says, hey, is there any way I can get one of the new catalogs and I don't have no more, I'll order more to give them to Yeah, them. that's um, cool. If, if, they, if I'm asked for it, I'm definitely gonna hand them one. But I'm also going to hand them out. I don't know how the other distributors are going to do it. You know, we all own our own business, separate mm -hmm. business. So I hear all the time, you know, why can all Maco dealers not do the same thing? Well, that's because we all own different businesses. So, well, I have been on the hunt for something else as cool as the Matco sign to go with it. Because where I'm where I'm wanting to put it, I kind of need something similar on the the other, other side, side. You know, where to balance out. It's terrible. Like I see them and I'm like, okay, those are cool. And then I look at the Matco sign that I got. I'm like, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's like that. That is the coolest. Yeah. Piece of signage stuff that I've ever had right there. Right now I have mine in, at my house, but I'm trying to find somewhere on here. I saw where another distributor took the TV down and put it right there. It mm -hmm. looked really good. Uh, if I was in my Zuzu, I'd have it on my back wall, but. And I don't have a back wall anymore, but um, man, that that sign is so cool. Man, it's awesome. Like that is probably the coolest purchase I've ever made off a tool truck, right there. Yeah. Um, like it makes me absolutely no money, but it brings a smile on my face <laughs> every time I see it. So it's worth something it's, there. Well, you know. and I have several things uh, in my toolbox that have never made me any money, but I thought yeah. it was cool. You know, hey, that was cool. That so. sign is freaking awesome, though. Yeah. I love that sign. And where I've got my mind when I finally find something else, like. No other tool trucks got it. I don't know if I'm gonna have to buy one with like a beer logo or something. <laughs> something I don't know. Like I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do. Like I've even looked at some Ford logo signs, you know. Yeah. And when and I love Ford, but it's not the same shape, it's not the same size, and it's right. not the same color scheme. So I don't know. <laughs> but it's cool man, though. Cave. I mean, it's good that you've got a piece so good that it, you have to search and hunt for something to complement it. I guess yeah. you know. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they what they're really doing with the signs. Um, we sold. I think every every distributor I know got them, but we sold all that we had, and it looks like they put the part numbers discontinued. So I don't know if they. Or Maybe make, they're coming out with a different well, style. Well, that's what I don't know if they're making a different one. I don't. That's know. probably what I better I better hold off because I'm going to end up spending like four hundred dollars <laughs> on like a forward sign and it's not going to work right anyway. Yeah, and then I'll come out with one that's got like a wrench or something with that going. It. Yeah, well, we uh, I've been getting a lot of text messages and emails and stuff. You know, hey, what's that part number of the sign that you sold? And I tell the part number. Well, that's coming up discontinued. I'm like, I don't know. Call my co. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> I don't know. I need to. I need to shoot an email and find out. What I we're hope doing. they keep doing that. Like honestly, dude, if they would do one of those a year, like I want to put in a standing order whenever they come out, just get one. Yeah. Like I'll have the whole shop wall full of, <laughs> of those things. Yeah, I hope they do. They're cool. I, I don't know what they what they got up their sleeve. Um, but it's gonna be hard for them to top that one. Like it yeah. really will. Well, that one just turned out great. The mm -hmm. color of it turned out great. It's just like. Normally the blues and stuff when you yep. cut them on, they sort of pale. Looking. Yeah, that one's just as bright as when yeah. it's off. It's it's good. If they do all of them that way, man, they better up that production on them jokers <laughs> this next go around. Cause yeah, what did our box say? Piece something of five hundred? Is that what it said? I can't remember. I don't think they. I think they made like five hundred or something. They limited us to three a piece for distributors. So it wasn't just a whole lot out there. I hope they so, keep making them because, man, them things are so freaking cool. Sometimes you do something right and don't realize it. And <laughs> you realize it at the end when you're sold out. It's like, yep. oh, whoops. That is true. So, but Boy, it is what it is. I guess that uh, will wrap me up today. So. All righty. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for some merchandise, cool tools, discount codes, all that good stuff. And... Click that subscribe button. You just take your finger, 
It's real easy. Two steps. Okay. Take your finger and click it. All right, guys. See ya.